Iron Mike Tyson was one of the most exciting and controversial champions of our lifetime. Explosive and unpredictable, Tyson was like a stick of dynamite that could go off at any second. In his prime, he was always in the perfect position to deliver a knockout blow that would appear to come out of nowhere and send his opponent flying across the ring. Tyson was trained by arguably the greatest boxing coach of all time, Cus D'Amato. D'Amato honed Tyson into an aggressive counterpuncher by teaching Mike his style of fighting, the same style he had taught Floyd Patterson years before, and commonly referred to as the peekaboo style. The peekaboo style is generalized as simply slipping your opponent's attack in a tight guard before opening up to deliver a power blow. But that's just the first step in D'Amato's ingenious system, a system that took full advantage of the fact that Tyson had knockout power in both hands and was also comfortable fighting with either foot forward. By using the peekaboo head movement, Tyson was able to get deep into his opponent's guard, placing his back foot right next to his opponent's front. This was an incredibly dangerous position for both Tyson and his opponent. But the beauty of this open, staggered stance was that Tyson could expertly transfer out of it into any angle he chose. Far from a wild brawler, Tyson knew each position inside and out, and chose the perfect punches to accompany his switching stances. To explain the nuances of all of them in depth would take several videos, but let's take a minute to really understand just how versatile Tyson was and how he knew every stance and every angle inside and out. Tyson could transition into an open southpaw stance with his right foot inside, a dominant angle to attack with your lead hand. An open southpaw stance with his right foot outside, a dominant angle from which to attack with your rear hand. An orthodox position almost completely behind his opponent, pretty much advantageous in every way possible. A southpaw position almost completely behind his opponent, even more dominant. He would sometimes shuffle right past his opponent and end up in a closed southpaw stance. Kind of like when you go out of screen on an old video game and end up on the other side. Many of his opponents mistook Tyson's aggression for stupidity, but he had one of the greatest ring IQs in boxing history. Tyson could seamlessly change stances by shuffling or stepping in any direction. This meant he could use either stance to cut off the ring, chase his opponents down, or shuffle and counter to the left or the right with little preparation. For an aggressive counterpuncher, this freedom of movement is the ultimate advantage. Tyson was an expert at using this technique to break through an opponent's guard. He used combinations of uppercuts and head and body hooks to decimate his competitors. He would shuffle inside to uppercut and outside to hook, just like Patterson did before him. This was a matter of precision, with Tyson readjusting his feet just a few inches to make the difference. His shifting footwork also allowed him to cover distance quickly while attacking. Here he looks very similar to one of his biggest idols, Jack Dempsey. Now let's look at how the peekaboo style greatly amplified the power in Tyson's punches. First, Tyson's extreme slips and shifts tended to load most of his weight onto one leg, and since the power of a punch is greatly increased by shifting weight from one foot to another, this meant Tyson's punches were preloaded with power, his defense serving to increase the potency of his offense. Tyson also tended to shuffle into moves that were normally stepped into, increasing his distance and momentum. He scored many knockouts simply moving into his favorite squared up, staggered stance. But more than anything, Tyson's power was maximized by his ability to catch his opponents unaware as they were coming in. Two expressions hold very true here. A punch that gets you coming in hits twice as hard, and it's the punches you don't see coming that hurt you. Very few people could pull off this style. It was possible for Tyson and Patterson because of their raw talent and the genius behind the peekaboo style, one of boxing's greatest trainers, Customato. There will be a breakdown soon on the unique punches Tyson used and how he put so much power into them. So subscribe if you would like to see that or other breakdowns of other fighters in the future. My last two videos have been suggested by subscribers in the video before them, by the way. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.